Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the newest University of Racing Legends release, Richard Brickhouse's Talladega winning 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. As always, let's take a quick look at the box. As you can see, you have that beautiful box artwork the University of Racing is known for. Got that great picture of the car on the front. Got Richard Brickhouse's number 99, 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. Got Richard Brickhouse's signature right there. This is 26 in the series, and you of course have the University of Racing Legends logo down there. On the side of the box, you have the car getting a pit stop, and you have the team celebrating in victory lane. And at the bottom, you have some of the features of the diecast, if you want to read that. Got University of Racing Legends on this side. On the back of the box, you have a nice biography on Richard Brickhouse, if you want to read that. You got Richard Brickhouse's number 99 on this side of the box. And you, of course, have copyright and such on the bottom of the box. But now let's get down to the car itself. A very beautiful Daytona. Now, if you're wondering what you're looking at in the background right now, that is a University of Racing metal license plate. If you didn't know, University of Racing does make other stuff as opposed to just 124 scale diecast. They have some like old signs, some old license plates, and some other cool stuff. The reason I won this is because University of Racing held a Twitter contest, and I won. When they were initially going to reveal this car the day before, it was like they were going to reveal it on a Tuesday and the Monday before that, they said that because of something that happened, there was going to be a delay for one week. And they said, post your reactionary gifts. So I posted one and I won and they sent me a license plate. So I thought that'd be a perfect thing to use as a background for any university racing videos I do from now on. So that's that. But why don't we now just focus on the car? This is a beautiful, beautiful car. It's got a very unique color to it. It's like this dark purple, but from some angles and some lighting, it looks almost blue. It's just a really cool color. And University of Racing did a fantastic job to recreate it. Said this was the debut of the Dodge Charger Daytona, and it just happened to win that race. Surrounded by controversy, mind you, but it happened to win that race. <laughs> Talk about that a little bit later. But for now, let's get down to sponsors and other stuff. On the hood, you of course have 426 cubic inches. On the front, you got two 99s, where each of the headlights would be, and you of course have the grill. Down the side, you got Crown Dodge, you got Gazden, Alabama. Isn't that where Yellow Wolf is from? Anyways, on the back, you have Daytona, and you have the Super B logo on the wing. One of the coolest details on this car is right here on the door. You see that there's a piece of tape over the driver's name, and then Richard Brickhouse written on top of it. Who was under there? Was it Charlie Glotchbach? I want it was was it Fred Lorenzen? It was one of those two drivers. They said it on when they revealed this car on the Plan B sales thing. They said who what who it was under there. But that's a really cool detail. That's something that a lot of diecast companies might not get. But University of Racing Legends is always finds those tiny details. Here you have a look at all the nice retro contingency sponsors. There would have been a NASCAR logo right there, but for some reason University of Racing just doesn't have like an official NASCAR license, I guess, because they've never put NASCAR logos on their car for some reason. Anyways, on the back, you have Dodge, and you have two number 99s. You have another number 99 on the trunk. And you have the same stuff down the other side. I love those white rims with the black center pieces. Those look fantastic. But now let's take a look under the hood if it wants to open, which it does not. Don't want to break anything. <laughs> Got nothing on the other side of the hood, but there is the beautiful University of Racing Legends engine detail. Like I said, if you're a person who doesn't like what Lionel's doing these days, go to University of Racing, because they have all that detail you want. Take a look under the deck lid. Got your typical fuel cell and such back there. Obviously, this was long before the age of roof flaps. And there's the underside of the car, if you want to see that. I always love how University of Racing does those nice, like, burnt tailpipes. Fantastic detail. Got University of Racing Legends and Dodge. You, of course, have all that detailed interior in there, the wood paneling and all that that you've come to expect, if I can get a good view of that. I love the wood paneling. Got the fire extinguisher and everything you would expect in there, too. So this is definitely a controversial race. If you don't know the entire story on this race, go take a look at Slap Shoes' video. He did a video, like, I think in less than a year ago that is just fantastic. Just kind of just break down the entire, all the controversy around the race. Kind of a, you know, slimmed down version was basically Bill France builds Talladega. 
it's such it's so big and so fast that the tires can't handle it firestone and goodyear just cannot build a tire to handle it all the drivers are like we're gonna die <laughs> like this is not safe we are not racing like this and then bill french was like you're all just scared get on the track <laughs> like i'm i'm keeping this race on, on this date i don't care what you want so then most of the drivers who all formed sort of a union all just kind of bounced they all were like okay bye and there were only three cars three real cup cars on the track there was this one there was bobby isaac's number 71 and there was a regular dodge charger 500 the ray fox three car and it came down to a scoring error, of course. You have three cars on track. There's, of course, going to be a scoring error. <laughs> Why wouldn't there be? But um, it came down where, you know, Richard Brickhouse officially ran the race, but Ray Fox in the three car, or he owned the three car. I forget who the driver was. They claimed that they won the race, and, you know, this car was a lap down. So, of course, the first Talladega race would have a huge story and a huge controversy. Well, I think Slapshoes literally called it the worst NASCAR race in history. <laughs> But that is just amazing that University Racing actually gave us a die cast of this car because, you know, this is definitely an important car in NASCAR history. The first Dodge Charger Daytona and everything. But, said, so if you want a more detailed version of that video and the history, just like I said, go watch Slap Shoes video. But if you want this, it is a brand new release. You can get it right now. They only make a thousand of each of these Dodge Charger Daytonas where they used to make a bunch more of the old University Racing Legends releases. So these ones are definitely selling out much faster. I think the Marty Robbins is already pretty gone. The Dave Marcus is... I think you can still get the Dave Marcus, and then the Bobby Isaac is already selling pretty quickly. I don't know. Here's this car next to an Ertl 164 scale of a Daytona that I happened to get the other day, just if you, in case you want to see some scale there. Because <laughs> I would love to see if University Racing Legends ever did 164 scales, because that could be quite amazing. I don't know. But anyways, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. This has been a review of Richard Brickhouse's 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.